Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I'm sharing a fun card that was inspired by Tisa Brown. I was lucky enough to meet Tisa in Atlanta, well actually we were just outside of Atlanta in Athens earlier this year at a retreat and um, I have become a big fan. She does a lot of scrapbooking pages and today for the Case the Fellow Creator Hop, I thought I would case one of her layouts and actually turn it into a card. So let me show you what I used. I started with a green and a teal, like a, a pale teal blue uh, panel, but those are both A2. And then I've got a card base as well. I've got this swimming pool dynamics from MFT. And then I went ahead and I cut a green banner that I can stamp my sentiment on or part of my sentiment on with an Avriel die set there. I also, for the rest of my uh, sentiment, I'm gonna say, um, splash. I spelled that out using the Carly alphabet from iCrafter. And then the images are all part of the Birdie Brown Sunshine and Friendship stamp set there. So I decided to make a scene, a swimming pool scene, and this is going to be a birthday card. Now for all of the strips, I just grabbed my yellow and orange scrap stash and then cut a bunch of strips. And then to get started, I took the green piece of paper, that's going to be my pool, and I lined up the swimming pool die, I ran it through my die cutting machine, and you can see the edges actually emboss around the, the outside there. So um, it gives you that, that shape and a little bit of definition there. Then I put the die back in place, and then I grabbed a pencil and I lined it up on my grid, and I marked about an inch up, and I decided that wasn't quite high enough, so I, I marked again at one and a half inches up and just traced the top portion of the die and then I can erase the lines that, that I don't want. Um, so what I'm doing is just creating an outline there so that I can cut that out. I did grab my ruler and straighten up those lines that I had kind of marked before. You don't need to do this, especially since we're gonna end up covering most of that up, uh, but I didn't know that yet for sure. So I went ahead and grabbed my scissors and then just trimmed around the outside edges there. And that gives us that that embossed border around the outside of the swimming pool. And it's also going to give us an area to tuck the little strips underneath. So I cleaned it up after I trimmed it out. Any pencil marks I'll get rid of there. And then I'm going to line it up on that blue panel. And that blue panel actually has a little bit of sparkle to it. It's a like a pearlized paper that I had in my stash. So it works great for this. And I'm going to kind of line things up, make sure that I like where this is going so far, and I do. So then I can pull all of those pieces off except the green piece. And I'm going to mark the um, inside and the outside of the die cut piece there, or the, the piece that I've got, just above that one and a half inch mark. Everything above that um, I, I want to trace around, inside and outside. And that gives us an arch there, and that little channel is where we can make sure that we get our strips um, ending in there. So then I can grab my little strips and just start laying them out. And before I glued anything down, I, I did like a dry fit. So make sure everything is where I liked it. And then I went ahead and started gluing the strips down. Now Tisa did say that when she was working on her layout, she did a 12 by 12 layout, that it was a lot of work. And originally she was going to do the whole thing, but she decided only to go part way. <laughs> um, and I actually, I love the way this worked and it kind of looked like sunshine um, rays to me. So that's what I was inspired to recreate there. So I glued them all down, filled in any little gaps glued some of it to my mat <laughs> and cleaned it up. Um, and then I can just put it in my trimmer and trim away all of the little extra pieces that are hanging off the edges. By the way, this is a great way to use up scraps of pattern paper. And notice that I have pattern paper and some solid paper in there. So you, you can use whatever you've got on hand. And if something's not quite the right shade, you can even touch it up with your markers too. So I'm just trimming this so that I end up with an A2 size panel again, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we get a nice clean piece. And I have those pencil marks that are on the inside that are still visible. I don't want them to show, so I'm gonna erase those real quick too. And now I can make sure that everything is in between the, the top of that 
channel there on the swimming pool and it is so I'll glue this down I do like wet glue especially for things like this where I, I may need to shift it around a little bit so you can see as I push this down I'm making sure to to really push down along the edges of those rays and get um, get it stuck down really nice and if any glue seeps out I'll clean that up now I can start laying out the other pieces, my um, foliage that's going to go around the edges. And in Tisa's project, she had kind of a camping scene and she used a photograph. And so I thought the swimming pool with my sentiment in the center there would be fun to mimic. And also in her layout, she used those uh, glitter die cut alphabet stickers. and that is what inspired me to to incorporate some glitter letters into the sentiment here too so once I get the outer pieces lined up the way I like them I'll just grab my tweezers add some more glue and then I can kind of tuck these in and glue them down I did decide to leave these hanging off the edge a little bit they're not hanging off so much that they don't fit into an envelope so I didn't feel like I, I wanted to cut those off just the rays now before I glue down the rest, I need to get my sentiment stamped, and I have taken the um, a stamp already from that same Sunshine and Friendship stamp set, and I've kind of curved it onto my Misty. It says, hope your birthday is a splash. Um, I am only going to stamp hope your birthday is A, and then we'll use splash with the die cut letters. And I am testing out a new bag um, instead of my regular powder tool. And since it's so new, there's a lot of fallout there, um, but it worked great. Um, and then I did make sure to mask off the word splash. So I just put a little piece of tape there when I inked it up with my Versamark ink so that I, I would just stamp out, hope your birthday is a, and then I grabbed those tweezers again. They're super handy. I sprinkled some of the white embossing powder on top, and then I can melt this real quick with my heat tool. And then I'll grab those tweezers one more time. Uh, the die that I used has little lines kind of cut into it that those are fold guidelines. So I'm just using those tweezers to give me a, a little fold there. It's easier than using my fingers because my fingers are a little too big. They kind of get in the way. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put some foam tape on the back. And this is a little trick when you need to curve your foam tape if you peel off the release paper from the back a little bit as you go it will bend and form the shape that you want it to take and you can see you just kind of peel it up a little bit at a time and then it's much more pliable so now that I've got a little bit of foam tape on the um, raised portion I can put some glue on the parts the the ends that will sit flat to the card and I'll go ahead and just stick it down to my card front here And then we can add some foam tape to our little hippo too, kind of add some extra dimension there and pop him up in the pool. He's so cute. I love this stamp set. <laughs> um, and then now I've got the rest of my sentiment for the word splash. I cut it out from gold and from white cardstock. And I'm just going to take the, the letters. Again, the tweezers are super handy here. And I'm going to stack them on top of each other, slightly offset, and that's going to create a little bit of a drop shadow. And you can see here when I stack up, um, well, well, I have the one that's stacked up on the left and then one without the drop shadow on the right. And it's just easier to read. It stands up, stands off the card a little bit more, um, makes that gold pop. So I went ahead and glued those all together and then glued them to my card front. I think it's super cute. And then all I need to do is glue the card um, front to the card base. And again, I like the wet glue for that. It gives me some wiggle room in case I need to line it up just right. And then for a finishing touch, I wanted to add some of these big clear drops. They're super fun. And check out that fun little star-shaped tray. I don't know if you noticed the round tray that I was using earlier and the star shape. They're both from Twiddler's Nook and they're super neat little trays. They're 3D printed, super handy for little embellishments. And check this out. You've got this little spout at the edge. The, the circle one has it as well. So it makes it really easy to pour your embellishments back in. It's great for holding your die cuts. So I thought these were really fun. I wanted to show you those. 
you can see at this angle here the shimmer that's on that pool which looks really fun so what do you think how do you think my card compares to tisa's well her layout there i think it's it's really fun and uh, you can totally see how i was inspired and yet it's completely different because it's a card i love the way this turned out and i'm super grateful to tisa for posting her project there i've got a link to her channel below and you can follow the hashtag case the fellow creator and you can hop along with all of us today if you're new to my channel feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell and then after you're done hopping along feel free to come back and check out a few more videos and as always, my friends, thanks for watching.